In today's video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide for breeding platy fish. Platys are live bears, which means they give birth to live young rather than laying eggs. This video is going to be full of information, so make sure you stay around till the end. Step 1 to breed them is to get male and female platys. Male platys will have a stick like gonopodium, while females will have a fanned out triangular anal fin. Let the males and females stay together for at least a week, and make sure to feed them more than usual. If you do everything right, the female platy will breed in about a month. These fish are extremely popular, so you can find them in pretty much any fish store. I got mine from Petco, and pretty much any local fish store will have them. Step 2 is to have the right tank parameters. You want to add lots of live plants and hiding spaces so that the female platy won't feel stressed. I found that fast growing plants such as guppy grass works best. These guys prefer a slightly higher pH at around 7 to 8.5. Getting the pH right is a very important part of their breeding process. As for the temperature, I found that platys prefer around 78 degrees Fahrenheit, but they're really hardy and pretty much any temperature will do. Once all these requirements are met, you'll want to feed them a lot of high quality foods. The best thing to feed them is live foods as it is really healthy for their breeding process. High quality flake food, frozen bloodworms, and egg yolk will be just as good. The third step is to wait for the female platy to get pregnant. This usually takes at least 30 days. Some signs of this include a much bigger belly, darker gravid spot, and a sudden stop in movement. I made a whole video on how to tell if a platy is pregnant and when she will give birth, so if you want to check it out, the link is in the description. Step 4. Once you find out your platy is about to give birth, there's a few things you could do. First, you could use a breeding box. I don't recommend this as it could really stress out the female platy. The very last thing we want is a stressed platy and a delayed breeding process. This method is great if you put the platy in right before she gives birth, but it's really hard to catch the exact moment, so you can use it, but you just need to be very careful, and I wouldn't leave the platy in there for more than 3 days. Another method is to let them breed inside the main tank. In that case, you'll have to provide lots of hiding places and live plants. Despite this, many of the platy fry will not survive. The good thing about this method is that only the strongest and toughest platy fry will survive. You can also net them out if you find any after and put them in a different tank. This is the most natural method, but if you're afraid the fry are going to get eaten, then you could use the breeder box method, or you could use the third method, which I'm going to show you right now. The best method, in my opinion, is to use a separate peaceful breeding tank. This will give you the most amount of surviving fry, plus it won't stress out the female. Once the female finishes giving birth, you can put her back into the community tank and raise the fry in the breeding tank. However, you need to make sure that the breeding tank is at least 5 gallons with lots of live plants. All fish tanks should have plants in my opinion, and I like to say an aquarium without live plants is like a world without trees, which is sort of true. Anyways, that's just a little side note. If your platy is not breeding, here are some tips to trigger the breeding process. The first tip is to lower the lighting. If the lighting is too high, it may cause the female to get stressed. You can also add floating plants to dim the light. Whenever you have a pregnant fish, always make sure that it is not in a stressful situation because then the fish will feel like the surroundings are not safe, which in turn delays the breeding process. Another thing you could do is raise the temperature. Live bearers like platys tend to breed a lot more in higher temperatures because it makes them feel like it's summertime. My final piece of advice is to just be patient. It may feel very hard at first, but with time and practice, you'll definitely get better. Doing your research, such as watching this video and supporting this channel, will help not only you, but others as well. So make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed, and if you have any other questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. See you next time.